worthy official you know, one one stop shop for all the data you see on the labor market and you know the population. So when you read about the unemployment rate, that's us. When you hear about jobs that are in, in demand, that's us too. So really we cover a lot of ground. We do a lot of work. We have the hot 50. It's a poster. It should be in many of the schools around the state. It's also a flyer. So students should be using this when they're talking with their parents or their counselors or their friends. And what this product does is it identifies high demand, high wage jobs in the state. And it also cuts off jobs that pay below a median wage. Now, you know, the 51st job is not a bad job, but we have to cut the list off somewhere. So what, what those jobs are intended to do is tell people, you know, give them an idea of where, where the future demand will be. The career outlook is just a different take on the hot jobs list. Instead of just taking the 50 jobs in the state that are high demand, high, high wage, this is also looking at uh, uh, jobs that are high demand, high wage, but by different training levels. So you can look at the bachelor's degrees, you can look at the, you know, you know, the associate's degrees. So it, it allows, it, it's a great tool for students who want to sit down and look at, you know, what are the hot jobs for the level of training that I want to get. We find that when we work with people who may have barriers to work, if all they see is the hot 50, that could be a limiting list for them. They might feel they, you know, they can't and don't want those jobs. So what this allows someone to do is look at what are the in-demand jobs that don't require a college degree, that don't require any training beyond high, high, high school, and it still gives them some, gui you know, some guidance on what, on what jobs are out there. One thing that I would encourage students to do with this data is look for some jobs on these lists that, that they like, that they think would be fun, and reach out to employers to see what a day, what a day in the life is like. And then working with their with their schools on things like apprenticeships or you know and on 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 the job training if they're doing a four year experience, um, you know exploring an internship or you know other ways that get them in the workplace doing the work so they can apply the skills they're learning in school to those to the jobs that they want to do.